again, crews are reconfiguring one of the busiest streets in Albuquerque for the third time in a decade. News 13's Emily Younger is live on pole near 2nd Street with a look. Emily. Yeah, well, Jessica, it's not unusual to see drivers barreling through this intersection. It's also not unusual to see it full of construction cones. Crazy. Crazy fast. It's a little absurd. Sharif Porter Park lives near Leaden Coal in downtown Albuquerque. She walks her dog Lily every day. And every day on that walk, she encounters this. People are just going so fast, so fast, up and down the road, yeah. There's a lot of traffic that comes off the freeway that goes downtown. Whether they're coming or going, the city says most of the drivers are speeding. Because as you know, heading downhill, people tend to pick up speed. The city has done a number of things to try and slow people down along lead and coal. In the last decade, crews have reduced both streets from three lanes to two lanes, put in wider sidewalks, extended the curbs, and today they were at it again. On call, we're restriping the roadway as a traffic calming measure. Right now, each lane is about 12 feet wide. With this new paint job, the lanes will be slimmed down to 11 feet wide. So by narrowing lanes, it's been studied and shown that people, their perception of how wide the lane is and how fast they can go, they feel like they need to slow down when it's narrower. The city is also adding in a buffer lane, so there will be more room between cars and bicyclists. To me, that's a lot safer for them. The goal? Make this busy route a safe one. Now the city has also put up speed trailers to show people just how fast they are going on lead and coal. Now city councilor Isaac Benton has also tossed around the idea of reducing the speed from 30 to 25. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Emily. Construction on coal should wrap up late this week or early next week. The city already restriped lead. The total cost for the project is about 40 grand.